Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Iowa State Cyclones. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Cyclones should be in for an uphill battle tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? Well, the keys are very simple, my friend. First, make their outside shooters into drivers. Attack them. Be aggressive on the D. Next, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. And lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Both teams looking to get things going here. Metcalf handles the pass, drains the shot. Up and inside. Looking for the foul. He hits the shot. They go into the low block. He blocks the shot. West receives the ball. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. On the outside, Becker handles the feed. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. For two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. They work the perimeter. Trying to feed the low block. Tries for two. Let's take a look at that last hoop. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. <laughs> Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Time to pick up the defense here now. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important than the time for up there. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Hinton receives the pass. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. That spin moves knocker. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Post flasher is open. Takes the pass in the paint. Looking for contact. He shows the sweet touch. Down inside. Pushing that basketball. It's 
stolen. A little lane, staying a little wider than 12 second. 12 foot lane. There's a slam. Entry pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. And they get the turnover. Now it comes the other way. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Trying to feed the low block. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. There's a bad pass right to the defender. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts the trifecta. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Both teams looking to get things going here. He up fakes. Working it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He puts up the tray. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. And now they'll bring it up. Good job defensively. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Cone is feeling great out there right now. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Both squads seem to be incapable of slowing things down. It's like an indoor track meet out there. You've got to be in superb condition to play this tempo, Brad. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really does do a great job of sealing them off. Double team now, bad angle. From right in the circle, knocks it down. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops That's like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Ah, I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> That's basic. Now they work it around the perimeter. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Gave it up. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. From right of the circle, he gets the bucket. <laughs> Go 
Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Playing for the steal in the post, and he, did. he rejects it. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Got it. For two. Oh, yes. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop. Do a little dance. Here's a flash from the post up high. In the paint. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. Sinks it. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Leans in. Sinks it. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. With a little baby hook. And in and out. Nice rebound. Way to come out with the ball and push it up the court. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Fires it down. On the outside. Jumps in. He gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. He unloads a three. Buried it. Come over City, that will always really negate any offense. High stepping it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barista Bluff in shorts, little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Good. That ball movement, get that good spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Gave it up.
Got the high pick. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. He takes the shot off the baseline. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. You've got that right, Brad. High post player flashing. The skip pass is picked off. Mississippi State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. With a bucket. They still don't score. Stolen away. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. Up and in. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Goes up for two. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Looking to move it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting. With a great block. Way off target. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Here we go on the break. For two. Easy one. Oh, we got to replay that one. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Working it around the perimeter. Got a guy right up on him. He makes a nice shot fake. Tries for two. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building.
Here's a double team. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Cleans the glass. They need to get out and run their lanes now. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to draw the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Becker, pump fakes. He attempts a jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. Pressure on the ball, head on the ball. Gave it up. Now the turnaround jumper. Mississippi State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They let him get into a rhythm. Takes a jumper for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. What a great strip. Appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around, a fadeaway. Shot clock is dead. Pass in the paint. Looking for a screen on top and got it. At the end of the first half, the Cyclones trail by five. Nick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. There were some good highlights in that first half, but you got to look at this one. Watch how they got the ball inside for easy scores, which forced the defense to collapse, opening up the perimeter game. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Iowa State allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but given away. If you can't take care of the rock, you're not going to win many games. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Dumps it in. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They work it around the perimeter. 
Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Up and inside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. On the outside, the small forward gets the ball. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Off the rim and no good. Basic. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Mississippi State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Steel, go up the other way, get a layup. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. He's got to get rid of it. Way out on top, controlling the ball. With the jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of play. post flashes jumps into the defender basket falls despite the contact they're working around the arc he shoots he knocks down another bucket this kid's got skills Brad. From the angle, the Cyclones have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. Picks off the pass. Now the high screen. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Jumped in front to take it away. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He intercepts it. For two. Doesn't go. Working it around the perimeter. The small forward gets the pass. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to get the D to bite. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position.
try to come up with a steal, and they do. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. That's been moved not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long way. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. At the free throw line. Opportunity. First shot, good. He misses the second. He gets the rebound. Stolen. Defense got it after knocking it loose. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right here. I think that was a good call though by the official. Offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real good extension. Had a momentary look from three point land. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He tries a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Looking for a good shot. The small forward with and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Picks off the pass. Fakes the shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in court side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. All right, thanks, Aaron. He tries the three. He gets the bucket to fall. The outside. The power forward takes the pass. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. The power forward takes the feed. Picked out of the air. With a little baby hook. In and out. Booker has the offensive rebound. Takes away the pass. Looking for the foul. They work the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. No good. the 
perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Looking for contact. The Bulldogs are up by 15. Gave it up. Top of the circle. You betcha. In the paint. With the jump hook. Monte, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Makes it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Obvious foul. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Jumped in front to take it away. Right in the circle, way off target. He looks for three. He drains it. Dick, the defense isn't doing a great job of positioning here. No, they're not, Brad. They're getting toasted on every turn. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He attempts the three. Rims out. Dump it inside. He shoots from the elbow. He gets the shot to fall. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Or two. Up, easy one. Take some pride on a defensive end. It's stolen. Transition opportunity coming up. Foul call. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes his first. Gets them both. That's an eight zip run. Here's the trap. From the top of the key. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Now they're working around the perimeter. He comes away with it. Let's see if they can. Get a two on this end. For the bucket, Iowa State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to cook on offense. Let's 
get back out on the floor. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert, get the number game going. Take it away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Knocks it home and one. What a poor job defensively. Nobody stopped the penetration of the ball. He is going to the line. Got it. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He draws a foul. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Wide, short, long, doesn't matter, doesn't go. Working it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He intercepts it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. He makes them both. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The lane. Spacing for two. Easy one. Let's see that up close. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Easy bucket coming here for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Pushes it. He throws it down court. Tries for two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Gave it up. Great defense.
Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. For the bucket. Up, easy one. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. He gives him the fake. Here's a double team. Stolen ball. Here they come now on a turnover. Mississippi State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Pushes it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Up and inside! The ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. <laughs> Tries for two. Rims out. Pushes it up. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. I'll tell you, it's time to start fouling in order to stop the clock. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Hits the second shot. Good timeout right here, though. Settle down, get that timeout. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. It's a nine-point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a breakdown here, though. Not there. For two, finger roll. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He'll go to the line. Good. Second shot, good. And Dick, that puts the lead at nine. Nine points is surmountable. This is the time to start jacking threes. For the deuce. Off the rim and no good. Number four wants the fans to get behind him and his team. You know, Brad, I think he wants the crowd to support him on his defensive possession. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Ten seconds to get it off. Got a wide-open look. He attempts the three. He can't miss. Teddy Shubman's feeling it, Brad. Launches a prayer. Too strong. 
Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams play pretty well, and you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game rather than look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Mississippi State played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.